Alright, in this video, we're going to do the mixed review part 14, and this is similar to problem 28 found in the mathematics sections quiz in the ATIT study manual. Number 28, John went to a local pizza restaurant and ordered two slices of pizza and a soda. This cost John $9. John and his friend returned the next day and ordered three slices of pizza and two sodas. This totaled $14.50. Write equations that model these transactions where P is the cost of a slice of pizza and S is the cost of a soda. Now we'll come back and talk about this bonus question right here in a second. But let's write some equations that model this. That first uh, trip, John, he ordered two slices of pizza and a soda. So if P is the cost of a slice of pizza, if we take two times P, that will be the cost of two slices of pizza because it's two times P where P is the cost of a slice, a single slice of pizza. But John also got a soda so we can say plus one soda or you could just say plus S but I'm going to put plus one S and if you add this up the cost of two slices of pizza plus one soda this cost John nine dollars. There's our equation that models this uh, first sentence here. So now let's look at the next piece. John and his friend returned the next day and ordered three slices of pizza and two sodas. This was a total of $14.50. So therefore, we now have three slices of pizza. That's going to be 3P plus two sodas, and this total is $14.50. Now, in the mathematics sections quiz, you are forming expressions there, whereas here we are dealing with equations because we are equal to something here. So we are done with that first part. Write equations that model these transactions. We've done that. Now here's the bonus. I'm not saying you're gonna see this on the T's test, but I recommend you check this out and uh, maybe this will motivate you to learn about systems of equations. Systems of equations are equations where you have more than one variable to solve for. Uh, we have a P and we have a S. P is the cost of one slice of pizza. S is the cost of one soda. When a system of equations is set up like this, we're going to have two equations since we have two unknowns. We can actually find the cost of a single soda or the cost of a single slice of pizza. One technique is called the elimination method. And what we can do here in an equation, if I were to take this equation up here and I take every single piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece, if I multiply them by negative two, now you may wonder why am I doing this? Well, let's just go ahead and multiply by negative two and see what happens. Negative two times two P is negative four P. Negative two times a one S is negative two S because negative two times one is negative two. Negative two times nine is going to be a negative 18. Now, in algebra, if you have an equation, this is totally fine to do. Whatever you do to one side of the equation, as long as you do it to the other, it's totally fine. Now, why did I do this? Let's take this equation down here and let's just copy it right on over beneath what we've just created here. Now, what we have done, we have created an equation up here, and if we look at this one down here that we just copied over, Notice if we do like some addition or subtraction with these variables, if we combine like terms here, if we take negative 4p plus, because that's a positive, that's understood to be a positive there, negative 4p plus 3p is negative 1p. Negative 2s plus 2s, they cancel out. They get eliminated. This is called the elimination method. And if we combine the negative 18 plus 1450, we get negative 3.50. Notice what we have here. We have an equation that we can solve for P. We can divide by negative one, which is really just going to change the sign, and we have P equals $3.50. This is the price of a single slice of pizza. Now, sure, you could guess and check. Good luck, because sometimes guessing and checking, trying to find a P that works for both of these equations and an S that works for both of these equations, that can be kind of difficult. But now, what we have done, using what's called the elimination method here, we've solved for P, so we now know a slice of pizza is $3.50. How can we find the soda? Well, go back up here to this sentence where John got two slices of pizza and he got a soda. We knew that the two slices of pizza and the soda cost $9. So let's refer back to this equation and let's take that two slices of pizza 
And we know that one slice of pizza is $3.50, so let's multiply that plus one soda is equal to $9. Now what you're probably thinking is, oh, we don't have to do an equation here. And you're right, you don't have to. If you think about how this works, two slices of pizza at $3.50 per pizza, that's gonna be seven bucks. Two times 350 is seven. Plus a soda, I'm just gonna write down an S here because one S is the same thing as S. This is equal to $9. And I'm referring back to money because I want you to think, if two slices of pizza cost seven bucks, his total order was $9, that means that soda has to be what? Two bucks, right? The soda is equal to $2. And now how can we solve that? You can just simply subtract seven from both sides to solve that equation. And nine minus seven does give you two. So that's the bonus piece there. You know, how much does one slice of pizza cost? $3.50. How much does one soda cost? $2. And to check that, let's see if it works in this blue equation here. So when John and his friend went back and got three slices of pizza, three slices of pizza times $3.50 per pizza, that's gonna be $10.50. The two sodas, well, remember we said each soda was two bucks, right? So two sodas at $2 a piece, that's gonna be another $4. So if we say plus $4, check it out, $14.50. These are the prices that satisfy both of these equations here. And again, this is called a system of equations where you have, in this case, two unknowns, we have two equations, and we've actually figured out the value of each variable. I'm not guaranteeing you're gonna see this on the T's test, but it's definitely worth mentioning, and I encourage you to go investigate this further. And there you have it, a problem similar to number 28 with an added twist to it, and that's it for this video. I hope it helped.